everyone's story is really interesting, but before the break, I just thought we'd give you some behind the scenes insight into, into what it's like to do something like this. So uh, my first question for you guys is, what was the story behind Synex? Like how does it how did it all happen? Um so I guess it started at the beginning of the first session of TKS in Toronto. So that was I guess around October or September. And I came into TKS extremely interested in neuroscience and biophysics. So I learned a lot about medical imaging and I really got into magnetic resonance. And I remember um, I, I started connect I, I started seeing some connections between ideas that I wouldn't have seen before if it wasn't for uh, Naveed and Nadeem really pushing me forward. So I, I remember that um, I started developing these ideas, you know, started learning the, more of the physics and mathematics behind it, and it required uh, for me to learn a lot of stuff, which I found was a big challenge. Uh, but eventually I got a pretty uh, good idea of uh, how to increase resolution and how to really improve MRI today. and. I, I was really struggling on how I could really move this forward and take it, take this fuzzy idea and make it a reality. So I guess, yeah, I, I reached out to Sunrise and just want to. Yeah. So um, after that, pretty much, I'm like the accelerator. So um, yeah. we took it from like this theory and we spent a lot of late nights reached out to a lot of experts, got it validated to a point where we're like, okay, this should work. Now we just need to do simulations, and that's everything we talked about. So yeah, that's where we're training, and here's where we are now. So what has been the hardest part about starting a medical imaging company at 16 years old? Um, I guess it'd be learning uh, the physics and math, because <coughs> In school, we're never really shown anything near what magnetic resonance has, a, what it's based on. And so we, we, we had to learn a bunch of calculus and all these, like, all, all these like, electromagnetic principles just to really understand what's going on underneath. And I think because we have no expertise at all in the area, so we need to reach out to a bunch of professors and experts to really understand how it works. And so I think a combination of, of I guess, reaching out to experts and learning it by ourselves online or in textbooks was probably the biggest challenge. So um, I'd just like to echo what Ben said. And he talks about this all the time, like school. Um, like it doesn't teach you as much as YouTube videos or he, he's not against school but like he just says you can learn the same thing that people in their masters and PhDs are learning which is what we did on uh, Coursera and just Khan Academy and like just literally YouTube videos on the internet and that's what we did right we familiarized ourselves with the concepts and went really deep and got and found an opportunity and we pursued it yeah uh, can you tell us about a specific like experience or story you had while doing Synex that you never thought you know you'd ever you ever have as a 16 year old kid? So um, we were sitting at our office, um, which is like second cup on uh, Lawrence so, um, uh, we were we were, uh, we were calling Ansys for these simulations and um, they. Like, we called them, no one picked up, we called them again, <laughs> someone picked up this time, and we were like, hey, we're a bunch of, uh, we're two 16 year olds, we're working on this, this, and this. We sent them our slide deck and um, some of our technical documents, and they're like, yeah, we, this is how much this software is worth, and we're willing to give it to you. And like, we turned it, we turned the uh, phone on mute and sort of had a minor party. We're like, oh my god, we just got like $300,000 for free, essentially, right? Um, but yeah, that's one of the best experiences. Like, I would have never expected that to happen otherwise. Um, for me, it'd probably be uh, recently we took a trip to Ottawa uh, to meet um, some professor of magnetic resonance who's really helping us on the phone, but we want to talk to him in person. And it, it was just really amazing to see that this thing we've been working on for so long, it's finally all in one piece. So. We went and we, we showed him everything, we went over everything, and he was really supportive and he really helped us along. And 
I, I, I think that was a great experience, a, a great experience for me, especially to help me grow as um, as a person uh, in medical imaging because it showed me that I can just approach anybody like that. And yeah. Okay, cool. Let's give them a round of applause.